Hey guys, it's War Machine 395 back with another video review. This time of the Hayaku Shiki or the Type 100 at your pleasure anyway. So, this is the manual I since thrown out the box. Um, right, so this kit is fifth in the high grade series. So it's now a 12 year old model made in 1999. So you can set your expectations pretty pretty low right at, from the beginning. You get a lot of nice box art, and just for comparison, I grabbed the high grade Delta Plus manual, and you can actually see how much bigger the manual is. Right, kind of slide them All right lined up at the bottom. The Delta Plus manual is both wider and taller, so you can see it's well. Modern high grades have a little more complexity to them than a larger manual. So put that off to the side. And here is the Hakushiki. Um, this is actually my little brother's first Gunpla. So just trying to take careful with it during the course of this review. So he has lined it and clear coated it. I, well, I clear coated it for him since it needed to be done so he could touch it and stuff. Kid's 10 years old, and then, frankly, the model kit's actually older than he is. So to start, I'm going to take a look at the head here. Um, bobs up and down, and it can turn from left to right. Um, I don't think it can go any more than 180. And the command antenna regularly falls off as well. would be surprised if it happens more during the course of this review. Right, so you can see where the chin catches on the collar when you try to turn it, so it can't go more than left to right, like 90 degrees. Okay, it also bobs up and down about 10 degrees. Right, and the shoulders are on a peg system, so they don't move that much. The arms can go out that far. Right, uh, the shoulders themselves are connected to the uh, the inner joint but the entire arm is just on a peg that's what I was trying to get at earlier I suppose and the arms can bend 90 degrees they're a little bit loose because it's just a poly cap in there um, and the fists are on a peg system as well so they can move back and forth this way but not any other way so they rotate as well and that's it now the side skirts are independent they can move out a little bit it's like that much and the front skirts are connected so they can move up that far Oop, there we go all the way up to the chest really uh... the legs can only go that far because they get caught on the side skirts back that far because they get caught on the back skirts right? and the knees actually get a full 180 if you can get them forward a little more but the back skirts get in the way so pretty decent for the legs and the ankles move left and right kind of like this they're on a ball joint and forwards and backwards and something really cool about this kit actually is this uh, ankle guard thing it's built into the lower legs so when you move the foot it comes in and out or it looks like that right that's pretty cool I like how that looks and works right it's a neat neat idea and alright now this bit these move, they're on a ball joint, so they can kind of flip-flop in and out. And the lower part can move that far. Back down again. It's pretty neat. Now the beam sabers are in the handles only. They don't actually have holes in them for beam sabers because it's kind of hard to do that with the gold plating and get it to look right. I don't know. I want to try and get the command antenna back on at this point since so I'm not going to touch the head again because it's a nuisance. Arg! I kind of want to glue it. But I have a fear of messing up my little brother's model, so I'm going to leave it for now. I might do some super glue later. So I'll bring that over to the side. Um, right, so for accessories, you get, you know, we get two hands, open fists, and a trigger finger hand. 
Um, you get a beam rifle, standard Hyakushiki beam rifle, and a bazooka. The clay bazooka, I guess is what they called it. Um, both of those fit in the trigger finger hand. They just kind of slide them on, and they don't wiggle around on there too much. But the bazooka kind of also, where you can see this hanger bit, it just sits on, there's two on either side where you can just hang a weapon. So the bazooka can just hang off the back like that. It's kind of neat. Um, right? So you can put the rifle in like this and just poke it in. Alright, and uh, let's see here. Oh, dang it. Alright, you also get two of these clear yellow beams. Beam saber handles attached. So, because like I said, you mess up the gold plating kind of a little bit. Let's just slide into the hand. And I'll adjust the finders a little here. There we go. Anyway, that's it. It's a pretty simple kit. Minimal accessories, but it's also pretty cheap considering the gold plating, right? So, I'll just finish up with a size comparison. Some of the most. Alright, so we have the strike. And you'll note that the strike is actually quite a bit shorter than that. Short. Alright. Oh, dang it. Also wobbly on its feet by comparison. Okay, sitting right here we go. Boop. Strike. And it's nephew for all intents and purposes. The Delta Plus. Alright, so we'll swing the camera a little and you can see where the Delta Plus is a tiny bit taller and the strike is a little shorter. And that's it I guess. I'll see you guys at the next review and thanks for watching.